Well, I think it's, it's a, a very well done public relations exercise. It's obviously feeding <laughs> into the uh, renewed uh, euphoria in the financial markets. I, I think substantively there's very little here. We're learning uh, very little. They haven't really stressed uh, the balance sheets of the banks in any meaningful way. So it's mostly a, mostly a whitewash. If you want to refloat the bubble and postpone the day of reckoning, then it's attractive. If you're worried about the buildup of debt, unsustainable borrowing, and the political power of the financial sector and the shenanigans that has led us into, uh, then you should be a little bit more worried. So I think there was a moment when you could have really started a transformation back in January, February, March. That moment has gone. We are now locked into a path for the next one to two years of trying to refloat the financial sector. Basically, we've created an enormous rent-seeking sector, the kind of thing you see in a Russia or in Indonesia, in problematic emerging market countries. We've created in the United States. It's called finance. It's particularly in the big banks. It is a huge issue that will be dealt with one way or another. And the more you postpone it, uh, the bigger the day of reckoning. I think you have to use antitrust. Apply antitrust to the financial sector and go after anybody who's too big to fail is too big to exist at this point. Boy, they need are, to be broken up. You are an interesting guy. Man. <laughs> well, I